So uh, this video, I uh, will now show how can you do consolidated e-invoice. Okay, as you can see, uh, I have generated quite some uh, Castle records. Okay, so these are all the records that is not submitted e-invoice yet. Okay, and I have two locations, HQ and Clang. Okay, so to run this consolidated e-invoice, I need to go to the e-invoice menu and click on the consolidated e-invoice. Okay, so a new screen will appear. So we just need to click the new button. So when you want to console your uh, e-invoice, so let's say I want to console the previous month uh, e-invoice for all documents. So I click generate. All right, and a summary will appear. So you can see from invoice, you got 50, uh, amount 50 over here. So how do I know what are the uh, records? You can actually double click. It will show you uh, this particular uh, invoice I004 is from the invoice that contribute to this 50 ringgit. So next, I have a cash sales, 312. I can also double click and it will show you from which document number uh, the one that actually uh, impact into this consolidated e invoice. Okay, and I also have another one, Clang. Okay, for different location, it will split another row up. All right, so this is according to the LHDN requirements. Okay, so this one is eight and nine. So when I save this uh, consolidated e invoice, it will then perform the submission. Three records of submission. So I save. So you can see there is CI1, CI2, and CI3. So this one is by document type, invoice. Uh, you will have one record. Castile, you have one record. And if your Castile has another location, it will also have another record. Above on that, if you have different currency, it will also separate it out. So I refresh, sorry, refresh, and you can see it's validated. We can go to our My Invoice portal. Okay, I refresh and you can see the consolidated e invoice over here CI1, 2, and 3. All right, so we can click into one of the consolidated e invoice. As you can see, uh, we will put in the general public uh, team and there's no uh, BRN number. And you can see the details as below with the classification code of 004 consolidated e invoice okay so uh moving back to the uh auto count we can also go back to our cash sales right we can actually right click on this header and choose column chooser and we can find something called ci.mo you can drag this out and you will realize there will be a document number over here. Means this particular cash sales is already consolidated and is located in CI 0000003 and accordingly to every others. You can also find this in invoice. Okay, so in invoice, we also have this CI.no. So as you can see, for this particular invoice that is dated in October, you have performed the consolidated and it will appear here, right? This one is because November, so not yet. So uh, here you can see, and of course, uh, moving back to our consolidated e-invoice, you can also perform some print listing if you wish to to uh, have your own, you know, own reference. So this is how you can do consolidated e-invoice in AutoCount.